Hey, this is John Young with The Weekend Handyman. Today's video, I'm gonna call this Snow Blowing in Real Life. I just did one little shot where we did a, a little uh, parking area here. Now we're gonna do a little bit larger area. The battery's been used for probably about 10 minutes of snow blowing. This is the Toro, this is the E, this is E21. It's a 21 inch, 60 volt uh, snow thrower here, blower here from, from the Toro company. Um, available at Home Depot. Links will be in the description below. This is basically gonna be snow blowing in real life. It snowed at last night. I had to go to work and do some things. So I just got home and kind of threw some, some pants on here. And now we're gonna go through. It's been, it was a heavier wet snow. There's been, we've had the kids shoveled a little bit here today, you know, with push through. So there's some clumps here. I pulled a little snow off the house and immediately yeah, it's right over there. And then we've had some cars driving on it. You see all that. This is real life snow removal. And I'm gonna do this basically as a full video and move the camera a couple of times. It's gonna be a longer video, but you're gonna get to see what this is like and this is a good test for this little 60 uh, 60 volt unit we had about four inches of snow it's compacted down to about three uh, it was a heavier wet snow it's about 26 to 28 degrees so the snow is, has a lot of moisture in it and uh yeah let's get on this and it's gonna again be a little bit longer video but hopefully it'll give you an idea of what this machine can do so we're gonna start we're gonna be blowing everything to the right and be able to kind of move it down. I'm gonna be probably blowing some of this area two or three times. So I'm gonna zip up because I, there's nothing like a good cold blast of, 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 of snow. Yeah. You know what? It would be great if I'd bring, bring the battery out. So there's one of the things I pulled the battery out when I brought it up to the house because I wanted to make sure that the battery stayed warm. Not that it couldn't have been outside for a few minutes or it was about a half hour, but I wanted to keep it warm so it's re ready to go. And let's see, where is that? It is fully charged according to this, which I know it's, already, it's had a little bit of, of use over there. So it's not completely uh, fully charged, but it's pretty close. We just insert the battery. Now we're good to go. Hit that spot where the cars, and I'm going to turn this a little bit so I can blow it. It's blowing right to the edge of the sidewalk here. If you're seeing some black. That is some of the leaves and such as uh, as we're going here. This is where I'm getting into where the car, the car tire marks there. outline the edge of the concrete over here make it just a little bit easier to know where that is all 
and I'm hitting those car, the car tracks. So what I'm running into is the spots where the cars have driven in and out. That's what's really causing a lot of my difficulty with going back and forth, backwards, back and forth. When I'm in a spot where I'm not going through where the cars have been, even though I'm now blowing some of the snow for the third time, it's not too bad. But then I hit a spot like that where the cars turned around on the snow and packed it down. And it became, it's become ice. So now we're going through about six inches of snow that's been blown. This is the third time. Let's just turn that, turn this a little bit. Oh, it is work. There's no question about it. This is this is a little work. It wouldn't be so bad if it wouldn't be for where the cars have already driven. So that's kind of simulating that hard stuff that's packed at the end of the driveway. Yeah, that's my version of that in this uh, in this little live test.
wanted to get that kind of broken. Highlighted, now we're going. Okay, so we plugged it up. It got out this far and we finally plugged it up. So, we pull the battery out and make sure everything, the impeller's looking good. Since this is a single, a single stage one and the impeller's not being bound, I can pretty much push things back down. I would never do that on a two stage. Two stage, I would use the tool but since I know everything was not bound up, I was felt pretty confident that everything's pretty safe. Put the battery back in. Okay, so this heavy stuff over here is certainly, certainly tough on the machine. Okay, we're good there. And it is wet. Let's turn it a little bit. Once again, making sure that that little, the impeller isn't bound. If that would be bound and not moving, we'd have a different story. You'd have to get a tool in there so we're not gonna get fingers in there. I'm trying to be a little more intentional with my speed, so hopefully I won't plug up as much. Getting towards the end of the driveway. We've only got about four feet left, I believe.
And when you get into that thicker snow and it's going a little bit too fast, it definitely plugs it up. Thick, wet snow is what it is. And it's more wet than thick or heavy. I should say it's heavy, but it's wet heavy. I just have to be much more diligent on making sure I'm not going too fast. There we go. We are getting towards the end here of our main parking area. We've got some additional sidewalks around the side. When I'm not trying to dig through this stuff, and if I'd probably come out earlier when it would be warmer, this would have probably cleaned up much better. Or if I could have gotten it off before the cars, much better. Instead, it didn't work that way. So we do what we can. Now I'm going to turn that camera. Let's turn this around here. Because this will be my next spot here to clear this area. And again, we're still on the first battery here. Where are we? Here we are. Okay, so I've got this angle. We're still in the first battery, still that first 7.5 amp hour battery. Get things turned a little bit and let's get this area cleared. Now this area has a little bit of car traction. But this has more or car uh, tracks in here. But most of this is from kids shoveling and footprints through here, whether it's dog or, or person. So that's what we're going to be bouncing across, where it's just snow. Relatively easy snow blowing. Where it's vehicles or there's piles from early shoveling. Not so much. Now this surface has been sealed. So you've got a fairly kind of a, a little bit of a slick surface here which makes clearing snow much easier um, 
I know this is thrilling video, but for those of you who are interested in a 60 volt snow thrower, this will give you an idea if the Toro should be on your list. Now this area we're getting to right here, that's where my son's car was last night. So that means that there was some dripping, uh, some harder stuff on the edges. And I'm not babying this machine here. I've, through this area, some spots the snow was blown four times before we got it off. So what you're seeing here is real world. Let's see, we're going to turn it just a little bit more so we can make sure we get this last little bit. Now we adjust the chute. Okay, so we've got two spots left. We have a little bit of a sidewalk area over here, and we have a little sidewalk area over there. We're going to move the camera and continue right on in this project here today. Again, this is snowblowing in real life. That's My wife came back during this video. That's why there's that one little blip in there. When she came home, I wanted to make sure that she knew that we were doing video. So, let's see. Let's move this over here. To give you an idea and get this kind of squared up a little bit. Let's turn that. Okay. Let's see. I think we're good to go. Now this one makes a lot more noise through here because we have our pets walking around the house. Dogs and cats as they come out and they want to walk security around the house. So you're hearing a lot of the ice from their paw prints in the snow that's being thrown out into the yard. And of course, I love that with the battery that I can go and stop, flip it, and then start it back up again and not wasting gas on the turns. find the edge of the cement there. Oops, getting off the sidewalk a little bit too far. Okay, now, one spot left, and then we've done pretty much everything today. And so far, we're still on the first battery, which I do have a second battery that I did pick up with this, just to make sure. Well, okay, so it's 
more sidewalk, and it goes around the side of the house. So we're going to do one part of the sidewalk, and then we'll turn around and then turn the corner and do the second part. And this could be a little bit noisier here. Because this actually, the kids came through, and they were blowing, or I should say shoveling there. So there could be some hard pack right there. But let's see what it will do as we roll through. That went through really quite well. I was expecting a little more resistance. Okay. Well, we're down to the last section here. Let's walk around that corner. So we're doing a real life snowblowing demonstration here with the Toro. This is the E21. They're 60 volt. They're 60 volt uh, snow to snow blower here. And we're getting the last piece set here. And then one battery. I'm thinking one battery is going to do everything for us here today. Okay, you know how sometimes that an idea is a bad idea when you're getting all the snow back in your face because it's a northwest wind. A little bit of a snow wash there for the phone. I'm going to walk back down and do the one side here. At the edge of the cement, I'm really close to it, and I want to just take a little bit more off this left side. Actually holding it up just a little bit, because I just want to take that, that off. So, and I'm going to take this out, this out, and clean up my corner a little bit more. Okay, there we go. We have just completed blowing snow all around the there are our driveways on our hard surfaces. We have a parking area that's gravel. We didn't do that one, but the cement areas we went over. Ah, there it is. Okay, let's see what it has for battery. Okay, so push the battery button. Come on. So I push it. I push my battery. Where is it? There we go. So the battery's pretty much shy or done as far as for this day. Um, it would probably run a little bit more. Maybe if I would plow my way back out to the, the other building, and that's going to be about it. So it was able to do the front, the full front, which you guys got to see. Basically, we've been blowing snow for about a good half hour on one battery. We'll put links in the description below. You can pick this up at Home Depot, 60 volt system for. This is not, I mean, if we'd have 10 inches of snow, it would have been a different story. I would have blown the snow, snow differently to get it off. I wanted to blow snow onto snow onto snow so you guys could see it. But if I would be doing this, and if we'd have 10 inches, we'd probably bring a tractor in. Because this just isn't going to be able to handle that, unless I really wanted to take my time. Good little machine. I love the 60-volt stuff. I've been doing things with the 60-volt in other manufacturers. 60-volt seems to be kind of a sweet spot for a lot of, a lot of the battery gear. Uh, Toro. This is the E21, 21 inch, 60 volt, battery powered, LED light. Let me show you that LED. It's starting to get a little darker now. Right there, that's our light bar. And it, so you can already start to see it's illuminating, illuminating ahead of me pretty nicely. Again, links in the description below. Thank you guys for watching and hanging out, checking out one of our Weekend Handyman videos. This is John Young with the Weekend Handyman. 
For more tips and how-to videos, go to WeekendHandyman.com.